Oh, the lawsuits are coming. Meet the black Chicago Democrats who sued progressive mayor Brandon Johnson for housing migrants in park that is quote unquote the crown jewel of their community. And they ended up winning. Two lawsuits by black Chicago residents have forced the city to abandon plans to use community bu buildings as migrant shelters. So for people who may not be aware necessarily, Chicago, oh God. Eric Adams in New York and Brandon Johnson in Chicago are the two big ones because they have sanctuary st city status. Um, they are catering to these Ill illegal migrants who are coming here uh, up in New York. Just recently, he said that I'm giving y'all, which is probably going to be rolling out in a couple of days if it are, hasn't already rolled out. They're giving them a thousand dollars per family to just go and blow the money on whatever they want to blow it on. Now, you could say it's going to be food, but then again, they're giving they're catering to their food needs. They don't do that for homeless people or veterans, but they're catering or any regular person for that matter. But they're catering to their food needs. They're saying, OK, here, buy this, you know, use this for clothes and other supplies. But, you know, nothing frivolous. We're not going to check anyways. Um, we don't really know what you're going to do with the money. This is what we tell you to do with the monies, but there's not going to be any kind of real vetting process. We didn't vet you when you even came here and up in Chicago. Oh, and by, by the way, they're peeing and defecating in front of people's doorsteps up in New York. And then up in Chicago, they got these abandoned school buildings that people want to be turned into like field houses, community centers, so that you could get the youths off the street and have them after school program. So they have less free time wandering around and getting into trouble and they'll be in a more supervised environment. And um, uh, brand is like, yeah, I, I don't care about that. We don't have any money for that, but we got enough money for the migrants. Okay. So that's why they're suing because these buildings are supposed to be used for the community and not for these illegal people coming here yet. That ain't, that is not what's going on. So that's the context. Let's get into it. Chicago is struggling to care for more than 35,000 asylum seekers bust in from the border by Texas governor, Greg Abbott, over the past 18 months and mind you abbott said i'm closing this border y'all biden said you can't close that border uh-uh uh-uh then he's like well i don't know what's going to happen with these illegals because they can't stay here and then new york and chicago both the gov both the uh, mayors over there said oh, oh you see abby he doesn't care about migrants and immigration oh, we'll, we'll take him and he said when i mean shoot <laughs> we could take <laughs> we could take him right now okay they'll be on the bus tonight and then now they're busting all these people up and now they're like uh oh uh we don't have any resources um don't you think that's probably why abbott said what he said but let's continue shelters in converted warehouses are filled to the brim with new arrivals living in poor conditions leading to the city commandeering other venues now i did a video poor conditions mind you i did a video it was about this pastor who he opened up his church I believe this was in was this in ohio I think so but he opened up his church to allow homeless people to, you know, be in there so they're not outside in the cold because it was like extremely cold. And they're like, OK, I'm going to let them be here, you know, for a couple months, you know, so they're not freezing outside because they have nowhere else to go because I don't know. They're homeless. So he ended up getting fined, sanctioned, all this other stuff. You know, he got violations. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. You can't have these homeless people up in here. It's safety pri uh, safety violations. Uh-uh. It's against the code and all this. And these people up in here living in poor conditions. In a warehouse. Let's continue. Among them was a field. So, you know, before I continue. So the rules are okay to be broken for illegals. People who are not citizens, but people who are citizens, we all got to follow the rules and you get to use our tax dollars. Let's continue. Among them was a field house at Amundsen Park in Austin, where local youth are kept out of trouble 
by playing football and kids go to daycare and you know and other maybe not necessarily here but in other kind of after school programs they'll have like drawing you can learn how to do some drawing music if they have the instruments and stuff like that for it Heck, we could have some after school programs for like tutoring sessions. Uh, we could have some etiquette classes, you know, mechanics, how to cook. There's a whole bunch. There's a variety of different things that people can have. Basketball, if you want to do another sport, there's a variety of things that people can have. But y'all say we don't have any money or space for that yet. You, you're you using that same space for the migrants and you're funding, funneling money through. Oh, no. OK, let's continue. Residents were furious their neighborhood's crown jewel, which is the area, would be taken away to house migrants. And after protests failed, a few tried something else. After a while, and this is what I'm saying about even with America, you know, people are like, oh, we're not having universal health care. Oh, we don't have this. Oh, we don't have this. Instead of everyone being divided on what pronoun to call me and, you know, all these identity politics and all this other stuff. What needs to happen is we need to go on strike. If you get 60% of the workforce, because even look, for example, at UPS, UPS went and said, yo, if y'all don't give us what we want, we're going to go on strike. And they were panicking because they said, well, if they go, I think it was like a week. They were like, well, if they go on strike for a week, we're going to lose a billion dollars. Uh oh. So they're like, uh, 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 and I know you may be like, well, you see, look, look at what that got them. They're laying off 12,000 people. They're not touching union jobs. They're talking about non-essential management jobs because most of the management are worthless and useless. They don't do anything. Those are the jobs that are getting touched. Not those union jobs, by the way. Um, so it's stuff like that, you know, and like I said, heck, if we, if we even get 60% and I'm talking about people who work in an office. People work in a warehouse, especially people work in a warehouse, because it doesn't matter what you do in that office. If you have nobody to move them packages, nothing's going to happen. OK, restaurant. OK, bartenders and cooks. We ain't working. OK, you engineers, they make so much money. They, you know, and they're so soft. They don't care. But everybody else, mm -mm, we ain't making that kind of money. You ain't making 100 grand, 200 grand. You better be out there picketing. OK, that goes for everybody. Teachers, everybody. You could shut this entire country down. You could shut it down. So much money would be lost. And they'll be like, oh, we could starve them out. You can't starve out 60% of a workforce, <laughs> okay? And I'm talking about of the actual workforce, okay? Of people who are able-bodied individuals to work. You cannot starve out that many people. You'll be losing so much money. It'll be a ridiculous, everything will be collapsing, okay? It'll be a ridiculous amount of money being lost. And after a while, Biden will be like, uh, 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 okay, uh, uh, all right, all right, all right, what, what, fine, fine. His slow ass now, he'll be running. He'll be like, okay, 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 fine. I'll get you what you want. Just get everyone get back to work. Migrants, oh, you guys are, ooh, you don't have any skills. Ooh, uh, ooh, I don't know what to do. All right. After a while, you, you will starve them. <laughs> okay. But let's continue. Let's continue. Kata Tras, a government employee and Democrat, and Gerald Harris, who coaches the teens in football at the park, sued the city with their neighbors. Truss uh, said she was also angry. Mayor Brandon Johnson's government shut out more than $250 million caring for migrants from communities and property. Wow. You got $250 million to give to illegal immigrants. Meanwhile, hey, I, contrary to what people may think, I have nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong with immigration. I have no bias against that. What I have against it are people who come here illegally. Now, it's one thing if it was like a Russian-Ukraine thing, which by the way, Putin, he had a whole peace treaty and Zelensky said we ain't doing that because America said we ain't doing that, but we ain't talking about that. But anyways, in, in regards to this though, I have no issue as long as you go through the proper measures. People were talking about Texas and they're like, oh, he got those fences with the barbed wire. Oh, he has those buoys with the saws in the middle. And yes, it's it's crazy. But I'm thinking, well, if you went through the proper channel to get here, which you mean a passport and, you know, since you're crossing borders and stuff, you know, some proper documentation, you wouldn't have to do with any of that. Why would you have to do with that? You don't. 
you'll be coming legally. That's for people who are coming illegally. Now, oh, but they need to get here. Uh, look at what happened when you had, uh, well, w what we have, Ukraine and Russia, for example. There was a reason why I brought that up. Look at them. Like, that's a serious state of emergency. And what happened? I'm not saying everywhere else doesn't have problems, but you look at a lot of these people, and I've seen things where people will go up there and ask them, you know, on the news, like, okay, well, what are you, oh, better life. But, well, anyone's looking for a better life. That's not a good reason to come to another country illegally. Try try going over to Germany illegally. You know what I mean? How Would they just be allowing that? Go to North Korea illegally. Go to China illegally. You could fly into Russia. Go and fly into Russia illegally. Heck, you can't even get on the plane. You know, so... Let's continue, y'all. There's a humanitarian crisis in the black community, but every time we have a need in our community, we're told there are no funds. There's no money for us. About 28% of the neighborhood lives below the poverty line and residents complain funding to improve their lives is hard to come by. Harris said with 70% of the teens he coached coming from households with single mothers, he was a surrogate father to many of them in neighborhoods needed the football program. Now, and I know some people, ah, oh, you see the single mother. Yeah, and the dad decided to dip. So let's not even get there. Let's continue. All right, over on the south side of Chicago, another successful lawsuit objected to an abandoned school being converted into a shelter. J. Darnell Jones, a DEI consultant and former U.S. Navy officer, sued the city when he learned of their plans. He's like, nah, we ain't doing this over here. South Shore High School was closed for lack of funding years ago, and the 94% black neighborhood has long campaigned for it to become a community. Center. So we close it because ah, we ain't got no funding. And we're like, okay, well, can we make it a community center? I'm assuming that'll be much cheaper anyways, because you don't have to have, you know, the daily head counts and all the extra stuff. Hey, can we make it into a community center? We could build a basketball court. That's one time payment and da 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 da. Nah, we're going to make it to migrant shelter. We're going to give them some money and we're going to make it so that it's good for them. What? In our community? Why not put this in a rich people's area? Oh, no. It's only Im illegal immigrants is only okay as long as you don't see it. But if it was in your backyard, you would not be saying anything. If all these people were right in front of your house every day, you'd be like, uh-uh, they gotta go. But it's okay because it ain't in front of your house. Okay, let's continue. Jones claimed that despite his fellow Democratic mayor blaming Texas for sending the migrants, the border crisis was Joe Biden's fault. <laughs> Local public schools education activist Natasha Dunn sued on similar grounds across town. The two lawsuits are some of the seven the city is facing over its plans to house migrants in Chicago neighborhoods. Both appear to be successful as the city now says it has no plans to convert either a Munson Park or South Shore High School into shelters. They're like, okay, we don't want that smoke. <laughs> okay, we'll mess with the other black folks. We ain't gonna mess with you. Chicago succeeded in converting disused schools into shelters elsewhere. However, including one in Washington Park, a neighborhood on the south side where 94% are black of the residents. Wadsworth Elementary School, which was shut down along with 50 other Chicago schools in 2013 due to lack of funding, now houses 600 migrants. <laughs> Mayor Johnson himself says the huge influx of migrants is unsustainable. Really? Isn't that what Abbott was saying? And you said, ah, oh, come on, come on, Abbott, come on, bring them up here. And now you're saying the same thing, but he can't turn them away because Chicago is a sanctuary city. He blamed both the Biden administration and Texas for his city struggling to care for how? I can understand blaming Biden because he should have been like, uh, we got a closed border because um, Abbott, he said, yo, we're going to start arresting these people. If we see them in their illegal and they're here, we're going to arrest them and then we're going to deport them right back. 
oh no 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 you can't well we got our buoys to prevent them from coming too you know and if you could last if you could survive that then okay oh no that's inhumane oh no that's terrible oh you can't do this oh you can't do this and and like i said try sneaking over there into russia and and insert your country that's near russia try sneaking in over there you think you're gonna be able to just go in there and they ain't gonna know that you there I remember I was watching, um, well, how much is left? I'm going to finish this off and then I'm going to say my little piece. I got my little two cents. Uh, he blames Texas for his city struggling to care for about 15,000 asylum seekers crammed into 28 shelters across the city. Governor Abbott has sent more than 25,300 migrants to Chicago since 2022, which he said he wanted. <laughs> okay. Let's not pretend like uh brandon didn't say he wanted these migrants brandon said bring the migrants i'm cool with them bring them and it's like okay well sure we'll bring them and now you oh look at him he's he stayed true to his word uh that's what you asked but anyways um in regards to that i remember i was watching bald and bankrupt now you could say okay but these are big he's a big youtuber yeah but still I remember I was watching that and mind you, his videos, I've watched quite a few of his videos um, and he speaks fluent Russian, you know, uh, he's, he's a, he's a Brit or whatnot or Englishman and he, he speaks fluent Russian and he goes over to Russia and he shows the good and the bad. Okay. He's not one of those people, but he also goes to other countries too. But if he's over there, he's showing the good and the bad and you get to see him just interacting with the people and how people are really getting down with him like yo okay this dude what he he's he's not even from here he speaks fluent you know or you know very very close to native speaking anyways there was an episode or a video that he put out and he was like yo <laughs> they said i'm banned from russia he's like what <laughs> <laughs> he was like i'm banned he said they were following me and they they found me i was just minding my own business he said i was gonna get on the plane the next day or two days later or something and then he was like yeah they just um they found me and they arrested me he said i was in a jail <laughs> you know it's not funny but this goes into this goes into what i'm saying like you can't just there's certain countries where you can't just go into it that you're gonna hide okay like if you look at that you could look at north korea you could look at china i mean there's so many other countries hell heck even if you look at germany you know something like that um you know you just don't hear about too too much of the migrant crisis like what we got going on okay i'm sure it's going on other places let me know if y'all know about it but my point is people aren't just they're not just having open borders okay anyone everyone could come here even your your cartel members and your killers what because how would you know that these people aren't a part of anything you wouldn't know and then these people are committing crime when they get here too we already got enough problems <laughs> okay and let's keep it real our dentists their dentists lawyers attorneys engineers chemists uh biologists they're not coming over here these are unskilled workers that are coming over here not saying that because you don't have anything of quote unquote value you shouldn't be here but i'm saying you're y'all asking for a handout y'all getting a handout and y'all don't even have any skills meanwhile we got homeless people that should be getting some kind of assistance they don't get anything in new york they're supposed to be giving them a thousand dollars on a prepaid car and they're going to be refilling it every month what are the citizens of new york getting a thousand dollars on a card no they're not getting a, okay can i get a thousand dollars on a card? i mean i don't live in new york but can i get a thousand dollars on a card i mean nothing can i get 500 we got a little measly little uh stimulus check or whatever six hundred dollars to 1200 1800 meanwhile other countries are getting two thousand dollars every month you know so i find it to be very interesting but whatever let me know what y'all think